We interrupt your regularly scheduled program to join Larry, Larry from the Chris and Larry show down at the yes. fairgrounds. Larry, Larry, tell us what's happening down there. It's, uh, there's a cloud of smoke and uh, the WDRC Bobo uh, fish flag is in the thick of it. Um, uh, we hear of the belief that the uh, incredibly stiff frame of the Bobo is going to carry Chris through to the uh, end of the heat. Uh, how how is Chris doing out there? Is he uh, is he is he sticking with his strategy of rear end first? Well, uh, his, as as I mentioned, his, he revealed his strategy to be going counterclockwise in reverse. Uh, but it's just too hectic and crowded out there to really implement that in a in a continuous fashion. Uh, it's it's uh, it, it's it's like some of these uh, movies you see in Sex Ed, where all these firm are like swimming around some direction. I feel like that's what the cars are doing. <laughs> so, how many cars are are currently taken to the field? Uh, let's see. There's eight of them. There's one of them that's pegged up on the poles and it's out of commission. And uh, then there are like, the, I have seen this before, there are two twin cars, number 50, number 12, with the exact same paint job. Wow. I don't know, I think they might be teaming up on people. Kind of like the, uh, the uh, what's that kind of bubble gum, the double mint twins or Double mint? Out there. <laughs> the double mint yeah, gum? Yeah, there's the double mint, yeah, double mint cars, that's what I'm looking at. <laughs> But, uh, all right, the, uh, the back of the WDRT mobile has folded down slightly, but it's not uh, dragging posterior yet. Uh, yeah, I think that's the technical term, posterior dragging trunk. Oh, it's, it's just, it's just hectic. I, I, I don't know what else to tell you. So... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How many car- uh, is, is any cars been eliminated yet? One. One, okay. Uh, no, we're, it looks like maybe two. Oh, no, yeah, it's still down to one car. These cars are incredibly resilient. Is this, Excuse me. Is this class all station wagons? Uh, no, uh, there's one other station wagon, but this is the mid size class. They didn't have enough station wagons to make it just a heated station wagon. Station oh, wagons are hard Chris to come by. Just, yeah, Chris like uh, uh, took it to the other uh, station wagon, and now he's blowing steam out from his head. Oh, oh, now he's really beating. There, there, plus, he said there could only be one station wagon in his heat, and he really did a number on the other station wagon. Nice. He's one of the fastest moving vehicles right now. A lot of them seem to be slowing down. Uh, the double bit twins are kind of just logged up against the wall. And car number 919. Uh, it's not quite as loud as some of the other cars, but it, it's going steady. Oh, oh, man. Oh, my. Oh, oh the humanity. Oh, oh my gosh. Fratricide. Oh, the twins started beating up on each other. They've turned on each other? Yeah, yeah. It's civil war out there. It's it's just flat out brutal, but they're having a timeout <laughs> now. It's a little bit quiet. A timeout? Can you yeah, call timeout? I think yeah, they called it. Well, they can. The, uh, the if the fire crews see a fire coming from someone's hood, or oh, right they're worried about someone being injured, they can uh, just. They can just wave the flag. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. The, 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 the twin, the two twin cars, the double bench twins, one of the cars hit the other one so hard that they knocked over the barricade, and now they're worried about, uh, oh, but okay, the race is back on. <laughs> I guess they, they decided it's all right. <laughs> yeah, the game must go on. Who needs barricades? So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
So, uh, how, how's the radio show going tonight? <laughs> <laughs> not, not as exciting as the demolition derby. Yeah, I'm glad I waited because this is, this is pretty much up the top. Okay, there's a big cloud of smoke. I'm looking for Chris. There aren't very many cars moving anymore, but Chris is one of them. I think he's going to place. There's about four cars moving. Yeah, he just needs to drive a little longer, and then he'll definitely place. I don't know if you remember, like, the hood had the uh, the folded-up uh, fins on the, on the hood, and we're worried, oh, maybe this isn't up to regulation. Yeah. Yeah, well, that was allowed, because they didn't, they didn't make them fold his fins down, so nice. I think that just gives it an extra level of brutality posterior oddity, yeah, Chris, and originality. Chris had mentioned that he was... Uh, he was going to harness power from the tiger on the top of the car. Do you feel that he's? Uh, you feel that he's doing that? Um, he he's, he is demonstrating the power of community radio, uh, and, which is definitely tiger-like, I would say. <laughs> yeah. As long as he's got the eye yeah. of the tiger, that's all that matters. <laughs> Well, uh, uh, apparently, um, this tiger is, um, is, is is modeled on some kind of Russian tattoo. So, if oh. we have any Russian ta- listeners who understand English, uh-huh. um, well, I don't know. Maybe I should fear for my life. Maybe the Russian uh, mafia will come and just take care of us for our disrespectful <laughs> use of their symbolism for for disregarding well, their there. eastern promises <laughs> let's hope that's not the case <laughs> well, yeah so anyway it's good good don't you guys if that is the case okay I, i'm saying that the wrt car is placing because i think we're down to three cars oh my god and this other car is just like kind of humping along <laughs> looking really sad like a sad panda. 76. Oh, Chris is totally in a demonstration of a pure bad posteriority. Chris backed into one car, then backed into another car, and shoved two cars clear across the place. Wow. Oh, if I we mean, could only have video of such a display of power. <laughs> I mean, it, wow. It, it, he's rising up to the challenge uh, of his rivals. That is yeah, no, he's, I mean, this guy, he, he's, he's going to get nominated for, like, King of the Derby. <laughs> they're gonna, I think they're going to have an extra round uh, of, at, uh, at the end of the Derby for cars that are still running. Mm-hmm. He's, he's moving, he, he's moving like he was out for a Sunday drive. <laughs> Ooh. So, so the choice of a Volvo now, was probably the, the wise decision then. They will say what? The Volvo was a, a, a wise decision in in terms of uh, weapon in which oh, to yeah. battle in this arena. Yes, yes, it, it's got five cylinders of, of socialist power. On the there. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, the uh, cars number seventy. Oh, now they're just going to- head to head. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> These cars, they're not waiting for anything. They're like, it's like a couple of bulls. Oh! Oh! <laughs> What's, Larry, what is happening? Well, I don't know. They just back up and butt heads like a couple of... Like rams? A couple of rams. Wow. Now it's, okay, it's... now... All right, now they're driving around. Oh, okay. I, it's hard to say who's going to last longer. Is there still three cars? No, it's down to the last two. So Chris, Chris and... is placing Chris and this other guy, but now, oh, oh no! I think that might be it. The other guy's moving, and oh, Chris, oh, Chris, took, oh my God, <laughs> he's he's still moving, but he took a major hit to the side of the car. Number seventy-six. It's, who is that guy? Okay, that's it. That's the end. Um, 
WDRT was in second place. Uh, second place. Still. Second place, yeah. Eh, Val, uh, Odin will smile upon him. He's, wit- he's been witness, shiny in chrome. What's, what's the easiest way with a Chinese problem? 